Hello everyone, hi. I am not going to spend a whole ton of time doing like an epic pro gamer intro and whatnot. Um, you read the title. You clicked on this for a reason. This is how to speedrun Phasmophobia. So honestly, let's just go straight into it. We're gonna say a quick hello to my friend up here. Hi. And we can do it. Then you can go into create private. And now you can select pretty much any map you want. This works for any map. However, the one that I'm going to be using is the one that I'm actually good at, which is Tanglewoods. I found that intermediate is perfect because in professional, the ghost room can change sometimes, which is really, really bad. And the other thing is that you get a lot of ghost events, but not a lot of like normal stuff happening really quickly. In intermediate, it's pretty perfect. So you select your map and in intermediate, and then you're good. You can add all of your stuff. So when you're ready, you can ready up. I will say, if you're doing almost anything on speedrun.com, you need to start recording whilst you're still in this lobby because the time starts when uh, you load into the truck. So I'm gonna take everything through really slowly. Now, personally, I really like to duo these things. So the first thing you want to do is hope to get lucky and spawn right here, but if not, you just want to immediately run over and open the door. Then you grab the house key, and I personally found that the best thing for finding any room whatsoever is the video camera. Then with that, you want dots since they work very well, and EMF since you can use that to easily find the source of any noises. Now. In this game, if you didn't know, it uses voice recognition. And this is really helpful when you get into the house. So for example, you also want to turn on night vision mode so you can see ghost orbs. I can open this door, and when I get into the house, I'll just say, can you touch a door? Can you open a door? Give us a sign. Where are you? Show yourself. And basically just repeat stuff like that. Now, here's the route. Basically, you want to come in through the door. If you're playing with a duo, have one person. Well, we might have our answer. So it seems to be right in this kind of section over here. So I'll just walk you guys through it. You want to have one person check this region of the house and one person check that region of the house inside the master bedroom and look for the Ouija board in both places because that can be super, super beneficial. So now I'm just gonna place down my dots projector and hold out my video camera look for any ghost orbs of any type and I don't see any I'm also going to turn on my EMF and throw it on the floor in case it wants to do anything now because I'm playing solo I need to go back and get more supplies however in most scenarios if you're playing with a duo you don't need to do this and you'll already have everything which is one of the reasons that you can speedrun duo easier so for this you're going to want to get a spirit box, a journal, and a UV light. Or at least have your other teammate doing that. So then you can just turn on your UV light and check. You see right here that the ghost touched this, meaning that we can put in fingerprints in our journal. So we can throw this down because we don't need it. Now it's time to spirit box. There's three main questions that I ask. How old are you? Where are you? Are you friendly? And then if you want to add that extra piece of flair, are you French? Once again, you can tell it's registering by that little X underneath the MHZ uh, biting up. How old are you? Where are you? 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 Doesn't seem to be spirit boxing too much. So we're gonna put down the journal as well. And we're just going to kind of wait. We're in a situation where we need to wait for some evidence. Now, at this point, we've already been in this for a couple of minutes. And if you're starting out, getting a sub four minute speed run is really, really good. However, I'm... Ooh. Oh, it's writing. Okay, so it's currently writing and we have an EMF level of two. Show yourself. Where are you? Give us a sign. Throw something. Move an object. Give us EMF level 5. How old are you? Where are you? How old are you? 
How old are you? Are you friendly? And we just need to keep kind of doing this until we eventually get our last piece of evidence. Because for any runs to be valid, any percent, whatever, you need to have all pieces of evidence and proof for all pieces of evidence. Threw something over here, so we're gonna check this out with our EMF. I think it might be EMF 5. Just a little sneaking suspicion. Um, and I'm also going to try and move the dodge projector. I don't need that anymore. So we're gonna set that right there. And I'm also gonna pick up this video camera again and look for any ghost orbs that I might have missed previously. If you want in the description, I'll attach what a real Phasmophobia speedrun looks like. So I don't think it's going to be dots or dots is a little strange. Something else to know is that learning the mechanics of the game is really, really helpful. For instance, one of the YouTubers that I learn a lot of my tips and tricks from is Insim. I would 100% recommend watching his stuff, because um, that's pretty much how I learned to play this game well. Alright, it seems like we aren't getting anything, and this is kind of a bad run because of the lack of evidence we're getting. So I believe that this is going to be EMF level 5, and we're going to move on. So that's just a little demonstration of kind of what to do. Um, if you guys enjoy this video, let me know. I'll make an advanced version of this with exactly everything to do. And I'll also have my duo join me, usually Brecca, so he can help demonstrate. So once you get all of your evidence, you want to run out of the house as fast as you can using the sprint mechanic. I forget what it is normally, however, I have it bound to shift. Then, the first thing you want to do is hit this, open your journal, and then select all of the evidence you found. So we had ghostwriting, fingerprints, and then what I think to be EMF level 5. So that would be a my line. Let's see if we got it right. It was. A little note from editor Oki here. As I'm editing this, I realized, hey, I forgot to say that the time starts when you first gain control of your character, and then it ends when the black loading screen shows up. So that's just a short little kind of guide as to how to speedrun. Sorry if I didn't cover absolutely everything in this, because there's a lot to cover, you know. However, if you guys want anything else or a much more detailed version of this with all of the little tips and tricks that I know, let me know in the comments and I will try my best to make that happen. Alright, thank you everyone.